We didn't cover the dry fitting of the seat and everything depends on dry fitting first. The cross beam is on the front end of the seat. It goes into that notch on the centerboard case and the front is flush with the front of the centerboard case. This means at the back there is some to be trimmed off. Run a pencil along the edge there. And cut it off with a small amount of excess. Maybe just one or two millimeters extra. The centerboard hole can be cut out later or cut out now. The top and the back are marked. The glue goes on the bottom and the back edge. Use a reasonable amount of glue. This is a high strength component, so we need to make sure the gluing is adequate. It's all ready to go in, so line it up carefully. We have all the reference lines and drive the screws into the original holes. From underneath, you put in six short stainless screws. Three per side. The holes are already there from the dry fit. The stringers can go in. We're moving quite quickly so this is still the same first mix of glue. Line them up with the lines that are marked. Hold them in place. And then two screws go in from underneath. These are again stainless steel screws. This goes through the bulkhead by one inch and then they get screwed in place. That's done now. The mast step and the mast partner are the highest loaded components in the boat. The load is enormous, so don't skimp on the glue. If you're not sure, add a little bit more glue. You can see it's quite thick here, and that's exactly how we want it. Yeah, a bit more. And then more on the front and back edges. Again, a decent amount, because we don't want any water getting in there. See the butter knife technique for the spatula. Slide into position. We know it fits because it was fitted before. Check the center lines, front and back. and then use the temporary black screws. The positions are already marked. One person pushes it down from inside the boat and the other drives the screws from underneath. You should see the glue come out from under the sides of the mast step. Mast partner, same thing. Line the center line up very carefully and drive the screws back into the original holes. 
Make sure the tops are flush with the top of the frame. And then put the screw in the front. Again, making sure the top of the partner is lined up with the top of the bulkhead perfectly. Double check that. If it's out of alignment, it will add a lot more work. The seat can be a bit messy. So there has to be glue on the cleats on the ends of the seat as well. The most important thing is to get the front edge of the seat flush with the front edge of the centerboard case. Everything else will be okay.